Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this one, we are going to install Jura and update our settings and put our 3D printer in there for Trunxy XY2 Pro. So, to start with, to be honest, there was like a Trunxy slicer in there, of course, but when I go to their homepage and look for the download and for the Trunxy software like the, the slicer software i couldn't find it anymore there was one i downloaded it i tried to use it and it was missing the trunks in xy2 pros installation in there as well so i was a little bit frustrated with that but no worries i was always using the cura for my trunks in xy2 pro and in this video i'm going to show you step by step first of all make sure that you are installed the latest version of the cura which is 4.6.1 download it when you download it your software will be ready so i already have my printer installed in here as trunks in xy2 pro but i will show you again how to do that so first when you have this place in here let me change it to my uh, one of other printers so let's say you have another printer or maybe you are opening it for the first time so for the first timers it's going to be the similar you will need to add a printer from scratch but let's start how we are going to do that so you opened it, you have a screen in there, you go to the settings printer and click add printer. Mine is Mac, it's somewhat similar with the Windows but what you need to do is to first click on the add a printer. So when you go there, you need to click add a non-network printer because this is a not network printer. And in there, you won't be able to see, you won't be able to see the trunk cine segment. That's why you need to go all the way up, click custom and custom FFF printer. So in here, you will just rename this as trunk cine XY2 dash pro. This will be your printer's name and you will click add. When you click add, you will left with the machine settings. There are a couple settings that we need to put in here. So first is the XYZ dimensions. So these are the heated bed dimensions and the Z height. So our X is 255, Y is 255, and the Z is 260. And our built plate shape is rectangular, and we have a heated bed. Our origin is not at center. And we did we don't have extra volume and G code flavor is Marlin for us. And for here the start G code, you don't need to worry about that. This is really like a normal start G code, but if you are expert and on how to not if you are expert and if you want to add more stuff on it, you can do that. Like drawing a line, those kind of stuff before the start, but it is not necessary for the beginners. And in here, the NG code is again straightforward. You don't need to play with that neither. Okay, let me explain what's going on in here. For the printhead settings, basically it's the definition of the 2D silhouette of the printhead itself. So if you are going to print two objects, one after completed the other one, you need these print settings to be defined properly because this way the Jura will prevent printhead to hit already printed object that's why you need these but in general we don't use that so unless you are going to use that you can leave all these settings zero so for the number of next extruders it's going to be one and let's move on to the extruder for the extruder the nozzle size is 0.4 millimeter as always but the compatible material diameter is going to be 1.75 or 76 and there's no offset in there and the cooling fan number is one Okay, and we are going to close this when we do that our trucks in xy2 pro is set up after it's set up what you are going to see is the trucks in xy2 pros print volume as you can see in this video now what we are going to do is to make an like sample print and i'm going to show you some of the settings that i'm using so first of all you just introduce a print uh, like it definitely depends on you what do you want to print so I'm going to introduce the hexagons in here uh, because the very famous video that's going on around here like this crazy hexagons with the illustration all those kind of stuff and I like it 
so we will use the settings to print this one so as you can see it is placed in here and now we are going to click here to put some settings so for the layer height I don't want to spend too much time on it that's why I'm going to use the layer height, layer height of 0.1 but you can use 0.082 for the finer prints or you can increase this layer height more to 0.2 for a draft print the wall thicknesses are 0.8 really great I don't want to play with that infill density 20% which is obvious and if you want a stronger part you want to increase the infill density for the print temperature I always go with the 4 Celsius more it's just a habit of mine uh, so the for PLA material is going to be 204 Celsius and 55 degree for the build plate regarding the print speed the advice pre speed is 60 milliliter per second but it doesn't hurt to go a little bit lower than that just to be on the safe side and the travel speed is 170 millimeter per second regarding the travel so you can enable the retraction which will give you a good chance to stop oozing and retraction distance that I'm using is around 10 millimeter you can increase this value if you see the retraction uh, you can increase this value if you see oozing between your prints always enable cooling for this type of print we don't need a support because nothing is against the gravity and so I remove the support marking here for the build plate adhesion you can either use a brim or raft but for this specific print I think I'm not going to put any build plate adhesion but if you see your print fails or if some things come up from the bed if the bed adhesion is bad just use brim with a couple millimeters I generally I use brim for three millimeter so for the drill extrusion we don't have that and special mods don't forget this print request all at once if you are printing multiple prints so after all these settings are done which I'm just showing you my favorite print settings it's up to you to use any print settings you want and it definitely just like up to your taste just give it a try see uh, experiment with it and it will be just like your playground so we click this back and finalize our settings now we are going to click slice after we click slice we can see that it's 4 hour and 36 minutes and it's going to be 18 grams of the material and 6 meters of the filament so before we save it to SD card or a file I'm going to click preview so when you click preview actually what you are seeing is the objects built so let's zoom in so that I can show you some cool stuff with the Cura so when we zoom in as you can see these are our hexagons so right in here is the number of layers that we are that the machine is going to print as you can see this is the first layer with the brims and then it starts to raise up the circles this area is the infill area and it goes up as you can see it covered the top of the infill area and the print is done so at this point also this slider in the um, horizontal axis is basically showing how the extruder is going to move when it's printing as you can see and this is going for every layer so every layer that we move in here vertically you can just play the extruders travel path which is great so we are ready now we can go back to the prepare section where we see the entire object and now what I'm going to do is save the file and I'm going to save my hexagons into the file or anywhere that I want so that I can just like put it into the G put it into the SD card of my printer and start printing so I'm just gonna name it as hexagon, save it to my desktop and it is done now I'm going to print it and show you guys the end result okay thank you guys for watching so this is the end result of our print this is the oddly satisfying hexagons which is like really good and there's this magnet in here 
and um, I 3D print this with the settings that I show you. So if you guys like it, please don't forget to click like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I'm also putting the and I'm also putting the link down below for this hexagons so that you can download it and print it with Troxine XY2 Pro with the settings that I just show you. So see you guys in the next video.